Brief intro. My name is Steven Cruiser. I have a professional stand-up comic my entire life. I dropped out of college to go on the road. Um, I was going to become a doctor, and then I left to become a comic, and my mother's so proud of me. Um, she's, still, she's still like, oh, Steven's dead, when people ask about me at family things. So you guys can over here come with us too, okay? These guys are good. You guys are kind of like, we're the Presbyterians. We don't know. <laughs> they put us on a bus. There was Melba Toast, and we're here now, and we're not quite sure. <laughs> it's okay. It's... What's that? <laughs> are you gonna get? Or do we have the militant band of rolling violent Presbyterians? <laughs> We got the Presbyterian biker gang here firing up the Vespas. You get us pissed off, we'll get on our segways and really come after you. But, you know, I'm a public citizen. I'm here as a public citizen, not as a military person. And I was a public citizen when somebody named Andrew Breitbart reached out to me. Yeah, Andrew. Um, friend of all three of us. Great guy. Wonderful guy, and I remember I called him up with a tip. We had we'd been talking about 80s music and, and, and Mexican food on Facebook. You know the Facebook, it's like the Twitter, except with more cats. <laughs> but uh, I grew up in Barry Goldwaters, Arizona. When I was a kid, there uh, it was illegal to have Democrats in Arizona. Um, <laughs> you couldn't have them in your house or anything. I remember my mother would take me to the zoo, and she'd go, honey, that's a liberal. And, <laughs> Don't feed him or he'll try to take all your money. <laughs> it's been a weird several years. The ups, the downs, the fighting, the this, the that. We want to have fun and do politics at the same time. We're all hip deep in politics all day, every day. We all write about it. Tony talks about it. But we want to have fun. So we're going to have fun. And if that means everybody gets naked and jumps into a tub of butter with the Presbyterian biker gang, that's what it means, okay? And until you've been naked in a tub of butter with a Presbyterian biker gang, you have not lived. And every single day, we're getting tracked and we're getting targeted and we're getting attacked for who we are, for what we believe, but most importantly, for not believing like they do. We get called bigots and we get called racists and we get called homophobes. We get called every name in the book. We get called anti-Semites. I'm Jewish. <laughs> Now, here's, here's the deal. I said, uh, Andrew, there's this uh, thing happening. They're opening the new Star Trek movie over in Kuwait for our troops. I thought that was a good story for your big Hollywood site because we want to reinforce positive behavior. He goes, great, Kurt, write it up. What, me? Oh, okay. So I wrote it up, sent it in. Suddenly, what, what, what are you going to write next? He sucked me in, people. He sucked me in. He's never let me go. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about here, empowerment. The thing that I think is a real danger to the republic, is this assault on free speech and free thought that's very systematic, very creepy, and is erratic, is a cancer eating away at the fabric of the, of the republic right now. We're being tracked, we're being targeted, we're being attacked morning, noon, and night, and so what we said to ourselves is, the good colonel, Steven Cruiser, myself, just because they track and target us does not mean we can't track and target them. Who are they? Who are they to decide the rules and then to decide the rules for me? They decide the rules for us all the time when they try and tell us about free speech, how we're not allowed to talk and we're not allowed to say certain things, engage in certain words, engage in certain conversations. The entire purpose of political correctness is to keep you from having a conversation. That's why it exists. If it didn't exist for that reason, everybody would know that it's the craziest crap ever to come out of somebody's mouth. We would point, we would laugh, and then we would go for lunch. Your duty isn't done. Every single one of you, every single one of you has something to contribute to this fight. That's why you're here. You want to fight. Hey, nobody's going to tell you how to do it. We can't. We can only give you ideas. But you're Americans. You know what you can do. You know your talents. You know your skills. You know what you can do best. Somebody who has worked their entire life to get to the top of a corporate structure gets that taken apart in two days because of a hundred dollar political contribution from eight years ago. Yeah. 
Hashtag, I didn't go to war to let you liberal punks shut me up. Thank you! What we're going to do now, this is called If We Were Your Three-Headed President. We're going to offer you some pithy policy solutions. Don't ask questions. Don't make a statement. Just, wait, just on my cue, yell out, yes! Common Core! I'm against it. <laughs> Stalin loves it. I don't understand it. Everyone is a warrior. Think about what you can do. I don't need to tell you what to do. You're Americans. You're entrepreneurs. You know your skills. You know your talents. Is anybody going to stop you? Are you going to let anyone tell you no? By the way, you should see a Jewish biker gang. It is insane. They're all out there on their Schwins. Oh, shit. Nothing what you expected, was it, darling? No. She said, I'm going to be a VIP guest, and this one frightens me. He, he moves a lot. Do they come out in, they're in their area, right? They,